everybody, John the other here, obviously. Um, and today I want to talk a little bit about political theory, which I know is going to turn a lot of people off. This is not usually a channel that talks about political theory, but eh, that's what we're talking about today, based on an encounter that I had in my local neighborhood. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, I live in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Specifically, I live in East Van, which is kind of a left-leaning, uh, lefty sort of a neighborhood. And while I was out wandering around, I, I ran into a, a can, a table. A, a, I didn't run into a table. I ran into a bunch of guys uh, with the table set up, canvassing for the Socialist Party of Canada. Um, and the conversation I had made it very, very clear to me uh, what socialism, what mainstream political socialism, as, you know, guys with a, a, a table with pamphlets endorsed by the Socialist Party of Canada, what they're actually endorsing. And before I get into that, I'll say I have always been very confused by uh, political socialism because it's so filled with contradictions. It seems not to make uh, any sense to me, the idea of um, forcibly uh, redistributing people's income and, and kind of this artificial, violent leveling of income and leveling of outcome, um, number one, that doesn't work. Uh, every time it's been tried in, in human civilization, it's resulted in massive deaths and, and mass murder and starvation and, uh, and general catastrophe, and yet we, we keep endorsing this uh, seemingly extremely bad and dysfunctional idea. So I've always been very confused by that. And I mean, you think about human motivations, if you take away the motivation for excellence and you take away the penalty for, uh, for apathy, well, what, what motivates people to, to strive in life? Well, I, you know, you try to ask that question, you get, you get people making rude noises at you instead of giving you any kind of an answer. So socialism has always kind of really uh, puzzled me, but it's been, very, it's been made very clear. I now understand it perfectly based on the conversation that I had with uh, some political canvassing socialists that I ran into in my neighborhood. So they have this table set up and they've got pamphlets on it uh, advocating the Socialist Party of Canada and uh, taped to the front of this table is, among other things, a little poster that says, Tax the Rich. And while I'm standing there waiting for the light to change, I point to this Tax the Rich poster and I say to the guy behind the table, that should just say steal from people. And I say this expecting him to give me an F you or, or, or something like that, not expecting there to be a productive conversation. But, you know, you're saying steal from people. Why don't you just come out and say it, is my view. And surprisingly, he does not disagree with me. He says, yeah, yeah, I, I can agree with that. But he clarified that who he wants to steal from, who it is, I guess, acceptable or, or noble, maybe, or morally correct to steal from. I didn't actually think it's morally correct to steal from anybody, but pff, I'm, you know, a weirdo. And he says, no, I want to steal from the rich because I hate them. And he volunteered this. You know, I didn't ask him, well, why do you want to steal from them? No, I want to steal from the rich because I hate them. And I found this also uh, a little bit confusing. What do you mean you hate them? You want to be them. And he denied this, of course. I said, well, look, the thing that makes them the group that you hate is their wealth. That's, that's the definition. We're talking about the rich, right? So what makes them the rich? Wealth. Being rich. And that, that's the thing you want to steal. Their money. And give it to you yourself. So you want to be them. I mean, this is, <laughs> maybe you want to give the money to somebody else. No, you want to give it to your own demographic. So yes, you want to be the rich. And... Uh, what do you mean? So that's, you don't hate them. So no, 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 I want to destroy them, he says. I want to destroy the rich. I want to forcibly level everybody. And uh, you know, we had a further discussion. We talked briefly about what, what, uh, what socialism is and what uh, capitalism is. He was very strongly against capitalism using Bombardier, which is a Canadian corporation, as an example. Now, for those of you who don't know, Bombardier, or Bombardier, depending on how you pronounce it, famously manufactures snowmobiles, but I think they also manufacture chainsaws and uh, airplane fuselages, and they, they made um, the mass transit system, the, what we call the SkyTrain in Vancouver, they're the manufacturers of that, and they were a failing corporation, not making money, and they were bailed out by the Canadian government, meaning they were bailed out with your tax money and mine, to a great amount of money, and consequent to that, uh, the chief executive officer gave himself a massive raise, and they laid off a whole bunch of staff. So um, 
That, according to the socialist, that's capitalism. Now, that's not my definition of capitalism. I think if it was capitalism and it was a failing company, it would actually be allowed to fail or be forced to adjust the practice of the business so that they don't fail, make better products or make them more efficiently, not just take a bunch of money from private citizens using the force, using the coercion of government, and then fire a whole bunch of your workers and give your uh, uh, officers big cash bonuses and raises. That's not capitalism by any definition that I can even begin to understand. That is actually socialism, the forcible redistribution of uh, the income of private citizens to an elect group. You know, just call me crazy. Anyway, we disagreed about that definition. And yet he has on the front of his, um, he says that's, that's objectionable, that's very, very bad, and that's capitalism. And yet on the front of his table, he's got this, this poster which says tax the rich. Steal from people and give their money to yourself, right? That's the thing he objects to when it's bombardier, but when it's him getting the money, I guess it's okay. And again, he says, I want, they're okay to steal from, forcibly, because he hates them. So now, after this conversation, I have a much greater understanding, a much more clear understanding of what socialism, mainstream, politically mainstream socialism actually is in Canada. It's um, hatred and resentment wrapped in a political language to give it legitimacy and justifying violent theft. That's what socialism actually is. And I guess that explains <laughs> why every time that it's um, adopted by a, na by a nation uh, throughout the 20th century and even into the modern time, look at Venezuela, that's why it results in um, mass death, starvation, and extreme violence um, killing millions of people. That's, I guess, it's all very clear now. Anyway, thanks very much for listening, and as always, have a lovely, lovely day.